crazy, crazy. I cannot believe that they had these joints sitting in there. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy, The Vintage Man. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of sneakers I have picked up within the last couple of days off of restocks in some of these Foot Lockers, Chess Sports, and I even got one from JD Sports, man. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I secured over these last couple of days, and I'm trying to give you guys a little bit of knowledge on why you should always, you know, call up to your local stores, go up to your local, you know, Foot Lockers and stuff like that, because Anything could happen, anything, you know, they can just restock, throw out on the floor or something, first come, first serve, you just would never know unless you go put in the footwork, call around, ask what's going on and stuff like that, man. So if you guys are new to the channel, right now what I need you guys to do is hit that subscribe button, ring notification bell for your voice, you never miss out on any other videos that I drop. I try to help you guys out as much as I can, especially as far as getting some of these sneakers. You probably took an L on, on the Flex apps. Or even on the sneakers app, you know, we all taking L's over there. Uh, but on these videos, like I said, I'm going to try to, you know, give you guys a little bit of insight, give you guys a little bit of knowledge on, you know, how to know about these restocks and, you know, how to actually get a pair that you took an L on, man. So, with all that being said, let's jump right into today's video. Hit that like button. Let's get right into it. All right, guys. So, the first sneaker we have that I'm going to show you guys what I hit on. Check it out. Check it out. We got these joints from JD Sports. Like, literally... I'm walking in the mall. I did not expect to go in there and see these things sitting. I was like, yo, I got to double up on these joints right here. And I was successful at doing that and getting both of them for retail. So crazy thing about this shoe right here is that I hit on the Nike Stingers app. They canceled my order for some reason. I don't know what was going on. It's actually happened to a couple other people that I know uh, on Instagram and stuff like that. Stingers app just straight canceled their order, man. And the people was, you know, getting their orders canceled for the exclusive access that they did for their dresses, Carmine's. And the dunks, you know, that whole week of dunks they was doing exclusive access for. A lot of people's orders got canceled, man. So, first store, JD Sports. Uh, JD Sports in my area is a little weird, bro. I ain't gonna cap. It's a little weird, uh, but you gotta go up there, ask questions. I remember this one time I was in JD Sports, and I even told this story on the live stream and showed the video. I asked for my size 9 in the Carmines, and I was like, you know, let me get size 9. He told me that he didn't have no extra size 9s. I said, yo, what size y'all got? And he's like... You can't only get your size. I'm like, yo, that makes no sense. Uh, I'm not going to get to that. But here we have it, man. Check it out. Check it out. Air Jordan 3 Retro. Silver, Sport Red, and Light Graphite. Got these joints in a size eight and a half. If you guys do not remember, I did an earlier view over these sneakers right here. And I got a size nine, which I'm going to grab in a second. Has to get the double up over these beautiful Air Jordan 3 Cool Grays, man. I told you guys coming in at the beginning of the year, this is my top five most anticipated sneakers. The OG colorways, of course, gotta come to the collection. And if I can double up for retail, that is always a plus, man. But super, super nice. I really love the cool grades going up. Couldn't get them. And now it seems like they drop in 2021. I just had to get two pair, man. So I'm definitely about to put the other pair to work. Those some dope fits together for these joints right here. But just a super, super beautiful sneaker. And up to the Air Drone 3 Cool Gray release, you guys know it got like pushback and stuff like that. So here we have it, the other pair right here, man. Check it out. Like I said, I had to double up on these beauties. And I actually got these joints in a size nine and a half. You know what I'm saying? So this is a size nine and a half. This is a size eight and a half. And it's crazy because I can fit both of them like, you know, it's the same size. So it's a weird, man. My foot is weird. I don't know what's going on. But for me to give you guys a little bit of insight on these restocks and stuff like that. So we got a couple more sneakers to show you guys. So please stay tuned. Kind of want to give you guys a little bit of tips and tricks in between the sneakers that I show you guys. So first tip is go and check your stores, man. You can even ask some of the employees like at the stores and stuff like that. If they have a certain sneaker, they will straight up tell you no on the phone. And you will go in there and you will literally see that sneaker sitting or another person in that store will tell you some different information. So always go into the stores asking for information about these sneakers that are about to drop, man. So here we have it. The double up is secure. Got a size eight and a half and we have a size nine. These are the joints I wore on the own foot. So make sure you guys go check that on feet out if you haven't already. Let's get to the next sneaker I hit on. Huge restock let's get right into it all right guys next we have a shoe palace bag man crazy crazy i cannot believe that they had these joints sitting in there nobody was even talking about these i feel like in my area usually you know i know a couple people around the town you know what i'm saying they usually tell me you know what be going on what's dropping and stuff like that but nobody told me about this restock that it was doing you guys won't believe what i'm about to pull out one of the most hyped 
Jordan releases of 2021, I must say. And you guys can let me know if you agree with that once I show you. But here we have it, Air Jordan 4 Retro, uh, GS, Topaz, and Infrared 23. Let's pull the top open. And yes, when you see the size, when you see that resale value, you're gonna be like, yo, that's crazy, man. So here we have it, we have the Topaz Air Jordan 4s, man. I could not believe when, when I seen the shoe, I was like, yo, this can't be real. And this is a perfect size. This is base size. I went ahead and grabbed her a pair of these joints. She really liked them. So this is definitely one of those hot stingers everybody wants. And it was just super crazy and super surprising I found these in Shoe Palace City. Here go my size right here. I, mean, I got these joints for under retail at the PX. Got them for like $153. But now, me and Bay laced up, get some nice photos or something like that, some cringy shit. But here you have it, my size base size hit on these joints in shoe palace and shoe palace i got my first w in like over two years on the air jordan one hype rose i couldn't believe it uh so you know what i'm saying they, they are earning a little bit more you know respect from your boy so hopefully them dubs keep coming until i move from san antonio so recently man shoe palace has been getting a lot of late shipments i even asked one of the managers and they said they're trying to get a new like i guess shipping carrier or whatever to get from their warehouses to the actual destination like the stores and stuff and so that's why they've been in a lot of these late shipments. And the best advice I can give you guys is just literally calling up there every day. Every time I ask them something, they pretty much told me straight up, you know, what was going on and stuff like that. They even had me putting in raffle tickets for the Air Jordan 4 um, University Blues or the UNC 4s, whatever you want to call them. And they don't even know if they're getting the shoe on the release date. They just, you know, said precautionary step, put a ticket in now. Because if we do get the sneaker, we will release them and pull the names for the Air Jordan 4 UNCs, man. So go call them, you can even go up there. Very friendly people. Shout out to Shoe Palace. Let's get to this last sneaker I picked up on a crazy restock. All right, guys, you see the bag. You guys see the bag. And you probably will not, you probably don't believe all the things I've been picking up these last couple of days, but trust me, I'm keeping it above with you guys. Like the last two days, I've been saving this video, you know, to do it. And it was dope that I did because this is the last shoe I got, which was like two days ago or a day ago, I forget. Me and the homie, the retro whiz kid, went up the Foot Locker, shouts out to one of the homies. He called me, hit me up, said, yo, they got these sneakers sitting and I know you really want them. And I got these joints for retail. Shouts out to House of Hoops Foot Locker. Let's pull these beauties out. We have them, bro, we have them. Air Jordan 5 Retro, size eight and a half, man. Size eight and a half. And you guys remember I did a review over this sneaker and I was like, yo, I need my size. And I was super hesitant on pulling the trigger on, you know, stock extra gold. But I waited a bit and it's a good thing that I did because we finally have the Air Jordan 5 Stealth, man. Oh my God, man. The Stealth 2.0s, super crazy buttery leather all over these joints. And something that I've been eyeing for like the last two, three weeks, ever since it dropped. I'm like, yo, I need a pair. I went on Instagram asking for sizes. And it's good that I waited and I got them for under retail, bro. Under retail pickup. So I spent like $170 on these joints. Uh, you can't beat it, bro. You can't beat it. And this one right here, literally the homie hit me up. He said, yo, they sitting. All he did was send me a picture. I'm like, yo, where is this at? Went straight up there. They actually have my size and a homie, the Retro Wiz Kids. And I finally have my Air Drummer 5 Stealth 2.0s in the collection, man. Super super beautiful and you know usually when Foot Locker and stuff like that get releases they usually you know throw it back on the app to do another raffle that wasn't the case that's not always the case and that's really why i'm making this video every time that a shoe restocks in these Foot Locker champs and foot actions they do not have to put it back on to the flex apps they might just throw it on the uh you know on the floor first come first serve basis and once it's gone, it's gone. Like I said, shouts out to the homie. He hit me up, went straight there, like instantly straight up there, grabbed these things. And now we finally have one of my most anticipated releases of 2021 would be in the Air Jordan 5 Stealth 2.0. You guys let me know what you think about these three restocks, man. So I appreciate everybody for tuning in to today's video. Like trying to give you guys a couple tricks and tips here and there to help you guys on these restocks and stuff like that. It's gonna be a lot more coming soon. Air Jordan 5 Ridge and Bulls is popping up in some of these foot lockers and stuff like that. We still have a bunch of Air Jordan 6s floating around, the Carmines. So just please call around, go to your local sneaker shop so you might come up on a clutch W like your boy did these last couple of days. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, man. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. We're on our ground to 50,000 subscribers. Share this video with a friend or a friend. You see I pick up some crazy stuff and I know y'all probably don't believe this, but yo, literally the last couple of days, 
I've been hitting on some crazy stuff, man. Did not expect to spend as much money on sneakers in one month. But when the sneakers you gotta add to the collection, man, you got to add them to the collection. Make sure you guys hit that like button on the way out of today's video. Again, I appreciate everybody for pulling up. Drop some comments down below. If you got any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the comment section. And with all that being said, man, I love you guys. And I'm gonna catch you in the next video, man. Peace.